So if you build using SOLIDWORKS to do a lot of woodworking, a dado is a very common joint. And it's beneficial if you can make that dado joint a library part, because then you can easily reference that in in your projects without having to recreate that joint each and every time. And so today I'm going to show you how to do that, starting with uh, this uh, multi-body part uh, here. And what that library part will allow us to do is to use any thickness of wood, any varying length of the joint, and we can make the depth of the dado adjustable. So starting with these two parts, I assume that, you know, if you can you start with something like this. Um, we can start making uh, making the dado. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this part, and then we're going to extrude this part into that cut. And it helps to make have a little bit of clearance between the cut and extrusions, um, but we'll get into that in a bit. So first we're going to sketch and pick your plane. And we're going to basically sketch out the, uh, the cut. And I'm going to start making a little bit of a clearance on, uh, on that cut. But I'm going to just draw it a little oversized to begin with. And so this will represent the, uh, the clearance, and I'm working in millimeters. I'm just going to make that something very small, 0.05. And then I'm going to do the same over here. And then we can actually draw in our cut uh, between those two points. And so let's, uh, let's cut that. I'm gonna make this five millimeters. We'll accept that. So as you can see, we've made that cut. There's a little bit of clearance and you know, you can make that clearance adjustable or set it to something that you prefer. And so now let's uh, draw the plane for the uh, extruding this part into that cut that we just made. So try to make the sketches on the same plane, um, all the features referencing the same plane, if you can, because it limits the amount of references um, that you'll need later. And also try to sketch you know, the vertices from the same point if you can as well, just to limit the amount of references that you'll have to, to, to reference in the library part. So there's that sketch and we're going to extrude that into the data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset from a surface again to keep uh, to give it a clearance on the on the back side there. So I'm going to off it, offset from that surface that same 0.05, and then I'm going to merge the results. So that's going to combine our extrusion with this part, which is important. Come later on, you can update cut lists and everything automatically because um, then this part will be made bigger to go into the data. So we'll accept that. And they, so as you can see, there is our dado with just a, a slight clearance around. And actually, I'm going to show that sketch. Um, you'll see it in a bit. The vertices that we're going to reference are going to, are going to be shown on that sketch. So I just like to save the part. 
And then we're going to go over to our library and we're going to add the two features associated with this data, so the cut and the extrude. And go over here to the library, add to library, and then I've already, I have already have a part in there, so we'll just call this data test. Uh, don't worry about that dialog. It's basically asking you if you want to delete any features, which we do not want to do. So here's our part, our library part. And so let's open that up. And you'll see we have our references. So we have our plane, that front face of the data. We have the left edge, we have the right edge, and then the two vertices. Yeah, they're actually not showing up, but they are the two, uh, the two points opposite corners in the, uh, in the data. Um, sometimes I like to rename these just so um, you know going into it. So we call that left edge. We call this right edge. And this will be the bottom left. So this is the first we started in the bottom left in the in the sketch and went to the top right. So we'll call this data bottom left. And we'll call this data top right. And then dimensions. So this extrusion, that five millimeters, we want to make that variable so we can adjust that depth depending on the part. So we're going to put that into a locating dimension. And as long as you're fine with everything else, the clearance is um, not changing. You can put those into internal dimensions. And then that should do that. So we'll save that library part. So now if we go back to our sketch, our original part, we can actually delete these, um, delete these features here. Um, and then we'll show you how to import that library part. Actually, before I do that, we're going to update. We're going to display the cut list table so you can see the cut list dimensions automatically update when we insert that data. So to do that, we got the two parts. Um, this is uh, made with a weldment. So we need to create the bounding boxes to get our part dimensions. And then we can insert our, our cut list. There we are, tables. Everything is fine. So there's our two parts. Yeah, I haven't named the parts, but that'll at least show you the dimensions. So let's go to our library. Here's our data test, the library part that we just made. Drag that into the onto the plane that you'd like to make that data. And um, yeah, don't worry about that. So we have the left, so we got the we need to reference basically locate where this data is on this feature. So we have the left edge, we have the right edge, we have the uh, bottom left corner, and then we have the top right corner. And this is our data depth, so you can see that I can change this number and watch the, the dimensions in the table and the graphic change at the same time. I 
I guess the table didn't update, but I think that happens after you re mm. rebuild it. But you saw the dado uh, depth change. And you know, there you have it. So you can see that part. It's got that uh, the dado in there. We can hide that sketch that we showed before. And there's our dimensions. So if you found this helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.